hey guys welcome back to engineers tech up channel so in this video i'm going to discuss epam interview question and answer for automation test engineer due to eight year of experience so let's move in the first question so so first question is tell me about yourself so if you are watching my series please just skip this question we have already explained and we have a separate video for tell me about yourself if you are watching first time so what the things you have to explain or present in front of the interviewer your name your current organization your relevant experience skill set your current project remember this project you should not uh, explain in the depth you just speak your domain and what the frameworks you have worked on and you have to tell your technical contribution in your project means in your roles and responsibility so that's it you have to tell in your uh, tell me about yourself you have to not make this too much lengthy because you have to like uh, you know uh, you have to give the time to the interviewer to ask the questions right so this is your tell me about yourself second question is why are multiple inheritances not supported by java okay actually java support multiple inheritance with respect to the interface not with respect to the classes because we have a, some ambiguity problem with classes but why okay so java does not support multiple inheritance when a subclass inherit from two or more super class that have a common ancestor okay so what happened we have a common ancestor in such a case subclass may inherit multiple methods or attribute with the same name or signature from different super classes and it may become ambiguous as to which method or attribute should be used right to avoid this ambiguity java has implemented the concept of inheritance explore the inheritance concept then you can understand more so this is the one you know big advantage of uh, you know interface uh, sorry interface so interface support multiple inheritance but with respect to the class to class multiple inheritance is not possible so let's move in the third question what are the hooks in bbd and where to use them okay so if you know the test ng we have a before uh, before before method before class like that in cucumber we have a hooks concept so hooks are the block of the code that can run at a various point in cucumber execution cycle they are typically used for where setup and tear down right of the environment before and after each scenario so we having the many uh, hooks like we have a before so before hooks run before the first steps of the each scenario annotated method right so this is like the syntax how we can use this then we have a after after hooks so after uh, hooks run after the last steps of each scenario so you can see like we have a annotated and lambda syntax then we have a before steps then we have a after steps then we have a conditional hooks so where like we can provide us some conditions so hooks can be conditionally selected from execution based on the tag of the scenario to run a particular hooks only for a certain scenario you can associate a associate a before or after hook with a tag expression okay annotated method style like here you can see we are passing the parameter to tag like browser or not headless like something right then we have a global hooks so global hooks will run once before any scenario uh, is run or after all scenario has been run so before all and we have a after all so you can just go for a uh, cucumber documentation and explore the hook hook concept do some practical as well because this session i'm not going to teach you the practical part uh, in the future i will plan uh, for cucumber tutorial but you will get many content on the youtube or blogs are there so you can explore the practical thing so here you are getting some idea which type of the question the company is asking 
So now another question is usage of data provider in BBD. So if you want to execute your test cases with multiple set of the data, right? So like we have a concept of the data provider in BBD data provider is a mechanism to supply the test data to a scenario or set of scenario. A data provider is typically used when we need to run same scenario multiple times with different input or when we have a multiple scenario that share the same steps but different in, in input data. A data provider can be used in BBD framework like Cucumber, JVAPS, or B, B, B has right to the parameterize the scenario with the test data. So I'll share this link guys. So here you will get some practical example as well. This is the, you know, a nice blog for the BBD. Uh, so you guys can refer this blog, okay? What are the features and a step definitions file and how do you integrate both? So if you are doing the practice, you know very well what is the features file and a step definition. But if you don't know, then you can explore this, right? So a features file is a plain text file that describes the behavior of the system using the natural language. Like we are writing in the plain English language. It contains a list of the scenario, each of which describes the specific behavior of the system. Each scenario is composed of the series of the steps written in given when and then format. So features file typically have a dot feature extension so you when you are creating a features file so extension is dot features and can be written in a various format like gherkins cucumber and jv haves right so what is the step definition so a step definition file on the other hand contains the actual code that implement the steps inside this features file okay so here i am not showing you practical example guys so better you can go for the, I have given the link as well. So you can go and you can explore. If you know already Cucumber, that is fine. If you don't know, you can explore. It is a code file typically written in Java, Python, or other programming language. So it support the multiple language as well. The step definition file map with given when and then steps in the feature file to execute the code that perform the actual action and verification. Okay, so... I'll give you just you can refer this link or you will get many tutorial on the cucumber. Please explore this. How to automate captcha? Actually, it's a very challenging task in Selenium, but we have some third party tools so we can uh, automate like captcha, right? So automating a captcha in Java Selenium can be a challenging task as a captchas are specifically designed to prevent the automation. However, there are a certain technique that can be used to automate a CAPTCHA in a certain scenario. So one possible approach to automate the CAPTCHA in Java Selenium is by using the third party CAPTCHA solving service that utilize the human powered CAPTCHA solving. Some of the popular CAPTCHA solving service are two CAPTCHA and anti CAPTCHA. Okay, so here this links, you will get the practical, the code as well, how to automate the CAPTCHA. Now we have uh, some Java questions. So this Java question I have already discussed in my last uh, video. So I don't want to again discuss the same thing. So just I have listed down the question. You guys like miss the you know session. You can watch my Java video or you can watch my previous video. You will get this all the answer. What is the difference between array list and link list? Explain up concept with example. So I have already explained you what is the difference between the abstract and interface this all the question you will get my previous video so you can watch my previous video as well you will get it write a java program like write a java program to remove the duplicates value in a static array so you have to remove the duplicates uh, elements in your static array second question is write a program to swap two number of two number without any time variable so these are the very common question guys so you can just take as assignment and try to do that okay okay so that's it in this session guys so if you are new in the channel please subscribe my channel and press bell icon to get new video notification so let me show you some important playlist if you are uh, planning to switch your planning to start your interview or you are attending the interview 
so we'll get some uh, you know playlist here so this is my channel name engineers tech hub you can go in my channel so here you will get some important like till now we have uploaded 56 video for top level of interview course top level of the company right we have a top level of the mnc so here you will get idea you know which type of the question they are going to ask right then we have a playlist so many manual tester or you guys are non-tech guys you are planning to switch in your automation so we have a real-time interview question and answer like what the challenges you have faced in your real-time project uh, you know what we are doing in the agile process if you will get the task in your automation what is your day-to-day -day activity what the challenges you have faced in your automation project so here you will get all the real time interview question and answer okay so please refer this uh, playlist you will get many important things here we will get some selenium playlist as well how we are working in the real time then i am also working on rest assured playlist so here i have started from very scratch level and till now i have uploaded 53 video okay so please if you are planning or if you are looking to learn the rest assured so please refer this and again thank you so much and please subscribe my channel press bell icon to get new video notification thank you see you in the next session bye bye